So um, with your music, you know, as of lately, you had a few events pop off. Um, you recently did a show with Fabo, and then before that, you was with the Boosie Bash. Um, so let's take it back to the Boosie Bash to begin with. What was that like? Stressful as fuck. Mm. Well, what was it, first and foremost? It was the um, Boosie Bash. I think it was the, yeah, Boosie Bash 2023. Shout out to Boosie. You know what I'm saying? So he had a little um thing down in Louisiana, so... I went down there, but before that, prior to that, two weeks before that, I got scammed out of damn near five thousand mm. dollars off of somebody saying that, that I could open up for Boosie and everything like that. Yeah. So, sent the man my money. I know who the person is and all of that. We going through a, a little lawsuit, mm. whatever, right okay. now for me getting scammed. Yeah. They made me a, uh, and I'm saying this to tell y'all this, artists, make sure y'all are sending y'all money to the right people before y'all send y'all money. Make sure y'all do y'all research. All of that shit, because you can lose a lot, and these people be gone, and you never know who scammed you. Thank God I know who scammed me. Mm-hmm. But um, So how did the scam happen? Um, I was talking to, well, actually, I got scammed twice. The first time, I got to put that on me, because I sent somebody some money through a Boosie page that I thought was him, and it wasn't. Mm-hmm. So my um my people, Dre, he knew somebody that, was, that said they had something to do with it. So by him being his friend... I said, okay, we we can we can fuck with him. I'll send some more money because that's your friend. I don't think he'll do you like that. Mm-hmm. Three days came before the show and they stopped hitting me up. So I hit mm-hmm. him up and I'm like, okay, so y'all scamming. They like, no, 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 everything. Da, da, da. So I just so happened to get in contact with Boosie manager. Okay. It went through one of my homeboys. Yeah. Shout out to my boy. You know what I'm saying? He called him on three and he like, yo, she got scammed. So they ended up texting the the man like, yo. We know what's going on. We're going to post you on Fusion or whatever if you mm-hmm. don't da 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 So ever since then, they, they've been going back and forth, like basically, oh, we're going to send your money, send your money. So I could have said, fuck it, but I didn't. Mm-hmm. I said, you know what? I'm still going to go down there. Regardless if I got my money, took or whatever, I'm going to go down there. And if I have to stand on top of a fucking table and perform mm-hmm. for whoever, I don't care. I'm going to do that because... I don't, I'm not shy. I'm not scared to perform. Mm-hmm. So, And at this point, going out there, you were scammed twice. Out of how much money by then? And all probably like six or seven bands. Damn. Yeah. So, okay. so um, and the real price was two bands to to perform. So the mm-hmm. money I got scammed out of, I really would have got to perform if it would have got to the uh, right person. Yeah, yeah. So we get there, and I'm still depressed. You know what I'm saying? My even when I get there, I'm still depressed because shit is not That's a gonna lot. go yeah. how I'm supposed to go. Yeah. So we get there to the show. Oh my god, we go to the thing. No more tickets. Mm. What, to get in, to perform, get, or both? No, no more tickets for to get anything. in. Damn. So I go back to the car. I ain't gonna lie. I'll drop some tears. I'm yeah, like, what the yeah, fuck that's, is that's going real. on? Like, yeah. So we sitting there in the car, and my uh, my homeboy, Dre, he like, you know what? We're going to the after party. Okay. Let's go now. So we won't have to wait in line. So right. we left early, went to the after party, and we got in there. That motherfucker was lit. Yeah. It was lit as fuck. I got to be up there with Boosie. Mm. My phone died. I got one good video of us in there at the party, and then yeah. my phone died. So I didn't get, uh, really get to do that. So that night I went home, and I told him, we went back to the hotel, and I was like, y'all, tomorrow's my last day. I got to mm-hmm. do something. Mm-hmm. If I, I cannot go back to Charlotte, I done posted this fake-ass flyer. Yeah. They think I'm opening up for Boosie. Right. It's like, there's no way I can go back and tell these motherfuckers I didn't do shit. Yeah. You feel me? So the next morning, I got up early, did my hair, all that, put my clothes on, and we went to the block party. Okay. So that's when everything happened. He was doing Boosie karaoke. So I'm like, okay, this is my time. I yeah. go up there and do my thing. So I mm-hmm. waited to the last person. Mm-hmm. I was the last person. Man, we cut the fuck up. I performed Ratchet. Boosie was dancing with me. Yeah. All kind of shit. Had a crowd moving everything. So everything played out. You feel me? I kept mm-hmm. my faith. I went down there and did what I was supposed to do. And I still got to do more than what I would have if I would have paid that money just to perform. Right. So everything was everything worked out. But y'all artists, please be careful. If you don't got no manager, get somebody. Don't do that shit by yourself. Mm-hmm. I tried to do it by myself because I wanted to surprise my people. But you 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 gotta have help. You gotta have at least somebody in your corner. Like y'all, just be careful. Yeah, and it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of dirty snakes that know that people are in your position want to get that type of exposure. They'll take advantage of it, which yeah. happened with the two scammers before. But with that, through that story, all in all. God really tested your strength. He did. And I ain't, I ain't let up either. I said, I don't care. I'm going. I'm going down there. And I talked to any and everybody, like kids, yeah. everybody. And they showed me so much love. It was no hate from the females and none of that. It was just mm-hmm. like I was at home like I was still in Charlotte. Yeah. So, that's that's a great, uh, man, that's a great story. That's a great lesson to share with people out there who, you know, they'll come across a bump in the road. And they'd be like, fuck it, it's over. Because you could have easily, when the tickets were sold out, you could have easily sat in your car, you cried what you did, 
um, and what you cried what you did do mm. and you could have just said fuck it yeah. that's it let's go back to charlotte but that, that that's why i'm like i'm glad i grew up because mm. back in if i was younger i would have been like i wouldn't even win mm. for real for real after the scam and you yeah, would have like, went. said fuck it yeah but i i did it just i was like nah i'm too i got too much pride too much thugging me not to go down there and not do shit there we go. Hey, I fucking love that story. For real. 